Microsoft and Quantinium just demonstrated 800 times better logical error rates on real hardware. And then we have Microsoft, which is playing a different game. They're building the marketplace. Azure Quantum is live right now, giving us access to IonQ, Quantinium, Rigetti, and Pascal. But Microsoft isn't just renting qubits, they're selling the outcomes. And then there's error correction work. Microsoft and Quantinium just demonstrated 800 times better logical error rates on real hardware. That's the reliability progress that turns Quantum from research project to physical product. Plus, they're only one of only two companies that DARPA selected for utility-scale quantum validation. The US government is betting on Microsoft's roadmap. And then we have Google, which is the reliability leader, and they do have receipts. Their Willow chip achieved something no one else has, below threshold error correction. That means that their logical qubits actually get better as they scale them up not worse. But here's Google's real play, Sandbox AQ. It's an alphabet spinout that just raised 450 million with Google and Nvidia backing it up. Sandbox AQ sells post quantum security and AI driven simulation today, turning Google quantum research into immediate revenue. Next we have Amazon, which doesn't really need to pick the winning side because they're already running the entire casino. AWS bracket already gives us access to six quantum providers, but Amazon's genius is in the economics because every quantum job on bracket it burns hundreds of hours of classical compute for both the pre-processing and the post-processing. Internal AWS data shows classical compute usage is roughly 500 times the quantum processor runtime per job. So even if quantum fails, AWS is billing the infrastructure around it. Quantum happens to be a double win for hyperscalers like Amazon and Google. And as a little bit of a hint of what this means, Amazon just deployed the world's first GB300 supercluster, which is 4600 NVIDIA Blackwell GPUs connected on quantum grade networking. That's the classical foundation every hybrid quantum workflow will run on. And that reiterates that traditional GPUs are going to amplify quantum computing. They're not going to replace it. 